Today we're going to be talking about the Diels-Alder reaction and reactivity and also dienophile reactants. This presentation was created by myself, Jasmine McAllister, Timothy Dudas, and Jennifer Musson. About the reaction, the Diels-Alder reaction is an addition reaction named from the German chemists Otto Diels and Kurt Alder. They actually received the 1950 Nobel Prize in Chemistry for this. Now for the basics of the reaction, the 1,3-diene will react with the dienophile, the 1,3-diene being this molecule here and the dienophile being this one. And when heat is added, the two reactants will combine to form this six-membered ring. And here you can see the original four atoms here and the other two from the dienophile here. Now for some common features about the Diels-Alder reaction. The first common feature is that it is initiated by heat, which is considered a thermal reaction. Secondly, the reaction forms a new six-membered ring. Thirdly, three pi bonds break, forming one new carbon-carbon pi bond and two new carbon-carbon sigma bonds. Also, the Diels-Alder reaction is concerted, which means that all of the bonds broken and all of the bonds formed are formed in one single step. For the Diels-Alder reaction to occur, the 1,3-diene must be in the S-cis conformation, shown here, which is reactive. The S-trans conformation is not reactive, and therefore to conduct a reaction with it, it must be converted into the S-cis conformation to occur. Here are some examples of dienes. As you can see here, this is the traditional diene that we normally see, but they can also have additional substituents added to either side. There will also be times where the diene is a conjugated cyclopentane, as shown here. In order for this reaction to occur, the cyclopentane's tip needs to be bent up out of the plane. As you can see, this makes the S-cis conformation more visible. Now it's ready to react with the dienophile. Here are some examples of dienophiles. From what you can tell from these examples, a dienophile does not necessarily have to be just a simple alkene. It can be more complex having substituents like these examples shown here. Here and here. An important concept to understand is the reactivity of dienophiles. An electron withdrawing group will increase the rate of reaction of which it occurs. A simple example of this would be an aldehyde attached to an alkene. This would then pull the electron density toward the electron withdrawing group. And each time you add an additional electron withdrawing group, the rate of reaction will increase. Therefore, the rate of reaction for these three molecules will increase as you go to the right. Another concept that you guys are going to want to understand in completing these reactions is going to be determining which reactant is the diene and which one is the dienophile in the reaction. A good way to understand this would be the HOMO versus LUMO concept. HOMO would stand for highest occupied molecular orbital, while LUMO stands for the lowest unoccupied molecular orbital. And an easier way still to understand this would be our central idea of who has electrons and who wants them. For this concept, the LUMO molecule will be the one that wants electrons, while the HOMO molecule will be the one who has. Therefore, in this particular example, the alkene that has the oxygen attached to it here would be the LUMO molecule while the alkene here with nothing attached to it would be the HOMO molecule. The HOMO molecule would be the molecule that would be giving electrons to the alkene with the oxygen attached. And the electrons would be coming from the double bond of the alkenes located here and here. In this example we'll need to utilize what we learned earlier about having to turn the tip of the cyclopentane out of the plane. After that, the diene is ready to react with the dienophile. The electrons here will shift to this position. These electrons will go towards the dienophile, which wants electrons. And these electrons will go to the diene. This reaction will form the six-membered ring. As you can see, there are one, two, three, four, five, six carbons in the ring. And the flip tip of the cyclopentane is retained here. The end.